Going into this game, I'm gonna be using two different cameras and three different lens, all for different purposes. So the uh, D5 is basically a pro camera and it's really great for sports. Um, some of the reasons it stands out is it's a very sturdy lens. So if I do get knocked over, I'll have um, this knowing that at least this part's safe. It has a really fast shutter speed capability and a burst mode where you can hold down the shutter and it clicks like 10, 11 shots per second. So that really helps as it relates to getting good sports shots. Lastly, it's got a very high ISO, which means that I have a lot of light I can let into my sensor. So if I'm in a darker situation, I can let a lot of light in by dialing up to ISO 4000, for instance, doing the whole game at that sort of ISO, high sensitivity light, but not a lot of noise. I'll be pairing it with the 2470 f2.8 lens, which is excellent for this because I can go very wide when I'm at a 24 millimeter and they're hard charging up at us. I'll be able to show that whole angle, but then I can go into a 70, so when they're a little bit back off the court, I can still get a nice solid shot and get an f2.8, which is that lovely bokeh that I'll be able to get while capturing the subject itself. I'll also be using the D850, which is not as fast as the D5 in terms of the burst mode, but it's this great combination of still having a pretty fast burst mode. I think it's about eight or nine frames per second and having this great high quality shots. So if I get an image where the whole scene looks okay, but if I zoom in, it looks amazing. I have a lot of room in my frame to do that. I can get a high resolution image by cropping in because it captures at such a high resolution. So I have a lot to work with. Um, in addition, I'm going to be pairing at this with the 70 to 200 f2.8 lens. This is a wonderful lens because it's fast to focus. It can very quickly grab the action and I can be cross court getting a really good solid shot on the other side while they're going up to the basket because of the 200 millimeter capabilities. And all the right here, I'm gonna show you the D850 with the 7200. I'm gonna be interchangeable. I'll be popping these lenses on the different cameras based on what I'm going for, um, but then grabbing camera by camera with the, a fixed lens so I can quickly change up my frame without having to change a lens on the spot. Lastly, I'll be using the 105 F14 lens. This is a classic portrait lens, a very nice portrait lens. And I wouldn't normally use this for sports. It's actually as beautiful of a capture as it gets with uh, portraits because of that ability to really blur everything out behind your subject. It is not a fast to focus lens like the 2470 or the 70 to 200. So I'd only be using this when things have slowed down a little bit. But otherwise, I'm gonna be on with the 2470 and the 70 to 200 all the other times. That game was so fun and very exciting. One of the big takeaways I had in terms of shooting that was I was in this very condensed space and quickly changing lenses and gear and I'm next to other people who've been doing this for years and are very good at it. And that's a skill, that's a skill that takes years to be able to get such a wide variety of looks and feels and shots very quickly from one small contained space. When the players are rushing up towards the basket, I am shooting with a continuous focus mode, which means I'm letting the camera auto-select a focus of these fast-moving subjects. And I'm shooting at a very fast shutter speed, at least one two thousandth of a second. I'm making sure that my aperture is open enough that if there's movement around my focus, I'm still getting a sharp shot. So like an F4 or so. Um, and I'm, I'm being very liberal about my um, ISO. I've got it up to like 3,200. 4,000, um, pretty high, but I know I can manage that in the space I'm in. One of the things that went right with this shoot today is I had excellent floor position. I wouldn't have wanted to have been too far to the left or right or directly under the basket. I think by being a little bit off the basket, you had a really good wide view of what you wanted to capture. One of the things that went um, wrong, or at least I learned from, was I am not in that position where you're really tightly constrained. I'm not supposed to lean forward or lean back or make even too much of a change to my body because I block all the other photographers and cinematographers who are out there doing their job, which is terrible because they work really hard and it was a good thing to learn and I changed my body position after learning that. I haven't been a huge basketball watcher and I saw the one game before this and then obviously was on the floor for this game and it's so fun. I have been missing out. Um, I'm far more interested than I thought I was and I'll be watching a lot more going forward.